All right, day six. I tried to sleep in. I can't. I mean, I used to be able to sleep while well, I was taking more medication. I used to be able to sleep like a log. And I'd wake up, ah, you know, seven, eight hours, nine hours later. And I'd had always had trouble and had to get calls to my room. And this time, I can't sleep for nothing. I mean, I've had a good time, and there's no reason. It's not like there's noise. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. But I forced myself to stay in bed eight hours because I knew this would be the last day I could actually do that. I gotta get up and get out by 11 tomorrow and that never happens anyways, but I didn't want to do anything today. Today was my day to do absolutely nothing and uh, that's it because I'm always doing something when I'm not up here. Like up here, and when I'm up here, I want to be with my son. And he's like, well, you know, grandma and granddad don't, you know. They see him like one or two days, and I go, well, that's good for them. But I'm like, he's my kid. He's my son, and I want to be with him as much as I possibly can. And I already miss him, and I'm still in town. But I didn't see him today because he had to work. I know, I'm just goofy, and a wife would probably cure that, I'm sure. But, man, oh man, I am afraid of that. Because the last one was such a horror film that, uh, they're utards. That's what they call it, people. That's what I'm calling them now, utards. Look at this is Main Street. Everybody thinks they have to take this street home. I don't know why, because there's a bunch of ways you could go up and cut, but they all follow Main Street and then go up their little, you know. It's really close to Valencia. No, it's kind of like Valencia and the Stepford Wise thing, but not. It's more Mormon wise. <laughs> but you know it's a big change from 20 years ago and a huge change from 40 years ago and 40 years ago that temple was the center of town the end these buildings were actually that's new to made to look old that's an older one but they're trying to keep it unified like the chamber of commerce building that's a, an old building they built, they built everything with brick here. Brick, 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 brick. Everything brick. But uh, anyways, <laughs> I wouldn't mind living here except the snow. And the snow is coming. And I think I'm going to just miss it. Because today it was fairly sunny. I'm like, eh, who needs sun? It's 80 flipping degrees in friggin' California. And I didn't get out of California that much. So, I am enjoying it. I wanted to wait until evening because, see, can you see that? In Idaho, or Utaho, uh, that's for you, J.D. I've never heard anybody say that. I go, we're, we're talking about something. I go, yeah, you know, Nikki Six is from Idaho. He goes, no, Utaho. I'm like, what? He goes, get it, Idaho, Utaho. I'm like, oh, that's funny, man. So my second wife was from Utaho. <laughs> uh, Pocatello, just like everybody else. And uh, who cares? No, that's not what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Oh, just everything being kind of the same. And I don't know. It's still 10,000 times better than California. But everybody's moving here because of the prices. We're so darn cheap. When I moved up here, up to Utah in 2006 I got a house a new house for $90,000 $90,000 that was in 2006 I think yes and 
I thought we bought it, but I left all the money because she wanted to be in charge. I left it up to her to pay the thing off. I say pay it off quickly, like within a year. Because I'm making the money to do it. Let's do it. Boom, boom. She told me that the money was embezzled by the person she was writing the checks out to. And I just went with it because, you know, I was dealing with the accident and all that crap. Why am I talking? Oh, price. Okay, stop. No deuce. So, in 2006, you could get a house for under 100000 And you can get a really nice house for about 150 if you spent 250 you got a really nice house and if you spent 500,000 you're getting a, a plantation with a huge house and acre oh ridiculous and i wanted to do that there was a huge house that had four stories and a two three story uh, mother-in-law house that was built on top of the motorhome uh, boat thing. And I thought, well, yeah, I'm going to have all that. So might as well get the house. And, you know, she didn't want to. So we didn't. But anyways, so pricing, I, gotta, I can't go back to the deuce. So, yeah, so now house is up here, brand new, 250 Still very cheap compared to California. We're talking like a house that you would pay a million dollars for in Burbank. You could get brand new up here for $250,000. And more land. And more pretty. With less people. Even though it seems like there's a lot of people. Look at the other side of the street. Nobody. That's because everybody works out of town and comes in from, you know, Salt Lake, Ogden, Brigham City. All, you know, other side of the mountains comes back home to Cache Valley and uh, they all just <laughs> do the same thing. It's like, I don't know, those things that jump off cliffs. If, if you jump off a cliff, if your friends jump off a cliff, who, who does, I don't know, whatever. But everybody's, you know, oh well, everybody just does it. There, there's no reason for this friggin' traffic jam. The only reason I'm going with it is because I got nothing else to do. Maybe that's why they're doing it. <laughs> Never really thought of that. Because what time is it here? It is. I think it's like five. Yeah, five thirty almost. Um, and the time change. <laughs> I hate this. I used to love it, but now I don't like it. So anyways, I'm not going to just ramble. So high, prices of housing, price house prices have gone up, but they're still incredibly low compared to California. California is ridiculous. L.A. and Northern California around the Bay is, is ridiculous. So it's going to bust again because I can't believe it's gone up like this. And it's artificial. It's... In Burbank and all that area, especially Burbank, it's because of the Armenians that have come in, and they're not wealthy. Because, <laughs> believe me, all of my neighbors are Armenian. I talk to all of them, and I'm pretty good friends with the two on the other side of the street. The one next door to me, uh, his father owned a chain of pharmacies. He died. But I knew his father was, you know, dealing under the table and selling them to people and giving them to his friends because he gave me a bottle of pills once for Christmas. And he was whacked out of his mind. And uh, that next November on Thanksgiving Day noon, he died. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Dad's dying. So the sons took over and they kind of just trade off that house next door and let, let you know relatives live there but the sons drop in because they store all their medication in the house that house was a two million dollar house and they added another million and a half onto it to you know fortify it make it a fort that's what fortification comes from fort fortify okay so I want you to at least learn something for all two or three or five of you that are watching these. 
And uh, let's see, you can see, I gotta go back to Hobby Lobby before eight because I'm returning that train that my son told me. Why are you spending $100 on a train set? I go, because I want to. He goes, yeah, but you just told me that you're kind of low on money this year. Shouldn't you save your money? I go, yes, I should, but I really want that train. And I want to go back to the room and set it up and run it. He goes, well, I wouldn't do that. I'd wait till I was, you know, back. I go, well, I taught him good. Or he taught himself good. Whatever. I bought the train set anyways, brought it back to the room, set it up, and it didn't work. <laughs> uh, so, always listen to your kids, especially if they're smarter than you. So I'm taking back the train I shouldn't have bought, and uh, which is good, I'll get an extra 110 bucks. Um, but I want to move up here, but I'm thinking if I wait too much longer... We're going to be talking $500,000, and that's not a good trade-off, like, for my parents, because they're, they're both retired. They don't get hardly anything. Neither of them had a retirement plan, but they did get in a small inheritance that they still haven't got paid for, and they better get paid for it next weekend, or I'm going to start shooting people in the nuts. I can say that because the person doesn't have any. So, um, you know, nuts like peanuts. Uh, you know, no, cashews. There we go. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. <laughs> see, I can have fun by myself because I'm insane. But, you know, see up in the mountains, it's, it's snowing up there. And there's snow there already. And it's snowing right now there. You can tell it's, it's that white mountain wasn't that white last night. And that's where my son lives. Unless this is 1400 North. Uh, oh, so my son lives right up that way. But there's snow on that peak too. Dude, behind me with the lights. So anyways. Well, this is day six. That's it. So tomorrow I leave. I'll go down to my friend George's. That'll be day seven. And then it's pretty much up to me how long I want to drag this out. I don't, I'm kind of tired of just, I don't know. I don't want to go back home, but I don't know what else to do because I don't have a lot of money this time. Uh, last year, last year I had a lot of money, but I didn't, I spent it on dumb crap. And I was gone eight, nine days. The year before I was gone ten days because I stayed in Vegas the last three days and went and saw Penn and Teller and spent a lot of money so the last three days ate up half of the money that I spent but I had plenty of money this year not so so I just decided to go even though I was thinking maybe I should just forget it and wait till uh, spring but spring up here starts in March and doesn't really or no it's start well late March April but you still get hit with snow up until May so because we're pretty far north I mean if we go straight over from Logan straight over to California we're in almost Oregon so we're getting those systems or he does the ones that come down and hit Washington and they go through Idaho and then they kind of sweep down into this little area before they flop over the Rockies here. So it's a weird little area because it'll get nailed or or it'll miss stuff completely and other people it's, ah, it's better than California. Better, 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 always better. Red Balloon Toy Store. There it is. I was looking everywhere for that stupid place. I wonder if they actually have the right train. Well, no, I'm not going to buy trains. He told me, don't buy a train. It's too expensive. You're right. But that's it. So I'll tell him, dude, I found that Red Balloon, man. <laughs> like I said, he doesn't have a car. He, he could care less. He catches a ride from one of his roommates. Which there's like six of them, I guess. And, uh, or he just takes the 
public transit, which is free. Or if it's not free, it's almost free. So he does not. Wow, it's a cool truck. Does not see the need to get a car, and fine, don't. He's doing great without it. Um. Oh man. Well, so here we go. It's a, almost a repeat from yesterday, but I'm not going to his house because I told him I wouldn't bug him today. Because, you know, he gets up 5, 4.35, gets into work by about 6, gets home about 5. Look at all those Mexicans, man. Wow. Well, so the same thing happened. There is a lot of farms. There's a lot of ranches, but there's a lot of big big ranches and I know they do there's that thing but the Hispanic problem is very contained up here because <laughs> everybody's got a gun and they know that they can't get away with the crap that they do in uh, LA because if they pull that they get thrown in prison and executed very rarely do they get away with the stuff that they do down in California and LA the illegal aliens and if you think I'm wrong, well, good for you, because that's why I'm just, you know, was in that crash, because of a drunk, illegal alien that was in a van, registered to 11 other people. He had been arrested several times for drunk and driving. Uh, he had a big rap sheet, big, uh, long rap sheet, when they actually found out his real name, because they weren't even investigating him, because they weren't didn't know he was driving the chick lied and they didn't ask me any questions because I was I was the one that got hurt he was the idiot that pulled well let's not get into that either. that's cool See, that's a massive storm hitting that so that's the top of the Rockies and then over you go over and boop you're into actually Wyoming you gotta go back down to hit Colorado but uh, man, it's, it's, got, it's getting dark, but it's pretty. See, that's a pretty western, like a true, like, this is a western sunset, son. Just a few houses out there, some ranches, and uh, out there, little ways. No, actually, over the mountain, over, 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 is where that golden spike thing was that we went to. So, well, there you go. It's hot already. Man, it's 47 degrees and I'm hot. Um, yes, all you girls out there, I know I am hot. Look at that price, gas. $2.97. It's like four something. And, oh, God, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I don't. All right, so, uh. Instead of just bagging on L.A. all the time. I'm, I'm trying to tell you about up here. But I always end up bagging on L.A. Or California. Well, because they suck. I mean, the, the state has turned into a horrible state. Some people like it. If you like it, stay there. That's cool. I mean, everybody's still got it in their head that that's where you got to go to make it. But you don't. I mean, if you're going to be a movie star, which is even less of a chance of happening than music now because everybody can be a movie star. YouTube, the internet, has destroyed that even. So your chances of doing act, becoming a famous actor are even smaller. You notice how all the new actors out there? No, you don't. Because YouTube, the internet. I mean, look at, I've got, I don't know how many people that watch me. Not enough subscribing still. I'm not even close to a thousand. I've only gotten like a handful. Thank you for the people who've done that, but man, I'm far away from getting a thousand. And I'm saying that I need to get it by the end of the year because they YouTube is not letting me progress. That's a new rule. That if you want to become, you know, a because I want to get onto YouTube and, and use it more to my advantage monetarily and other and you know get my music out and other things. And they won't let me do it 
until I have a thousand subscribers. And that just seems ridiculous, but I guess it's not because it weeds out the week. And I really am ramping up my friggin' uh, videos because that's why I'm putting them out. I'm like, I better put out a video every day because if I go 10 days without a video, they put you automatically back. But if they see you're putting out a video every day, even if it's just a few people, you're putting out a video every day, they, then they push you a little more. Trouble is, I'm not getting a bunch of views because I don't know what to say. I mean, I could go around and interview people, you know, like the snake one with my son last night. That got 15 views. But 15. <laughs> Who wants to watch, you know, I wouldn't mind. There are people that like to watch other people go and travel and do stuff. That's a cool old building. That's old Utah there. And, you know, sometimes I do too, but I'd rather live. But when I can't, then I will watch other things. That's why I watch Eagle Hauser. It was all over California, but I'm tired of California because I've been everywhere he had been. You know, and he ain't going anywhere now because he's dead. But he got me that I started watching him a long time ago. And I'm like, I'm going to do that. I got free time. I'm taking off. Because that's, you can hit the entire state anywhere in a day or two. So, I went everywhere. All up and down the coast. All up and down the midsection. All up and down the deserts. Up 395 all the way. Out of the state. I'm going to go up to 395 into, to the border someday, Canada. Because I was, I'm like, I'd like to go the entire distance of the 395. Well, it starts at the 15 near Victorville, and it ends in Canada. So that would be a cool drive. It's just, I, I know the drive all the way up to Reno pretty good. But, uh, oh, there you go. There's another old building. We're in another, we're in Smithville, I think. Yeah, we're out of Logan. Oh, yeah, Smithfield. Okay, Smithfield, whatever. The Smithfield Implement Company. I wonder what they implement. Another McDonald's. A littler one. Smaller. 397. Sinclair, huh? Maybe I'll get gas there on the way back because me and the pig have been traveling and we've eaten up a tank of gas. So that's pretty good. I want to get him out because he doesn't get out a lot. He'll stay at home on his computer or work on it or do stuff. And uh, he doesn't get to travel because no one in that house, all they want to do if they're not working is watch movies. Everybody there's got like a 60 inch TV. So it's just like, whose system are we going to use? Or which way are we going to aim our, te our chairs? <laughs> it's crazy. Because it's a lot of, you know, Vince and about half of them are Vince's age. 33, 34, I think one's 35, and then the rest are a little younger. But, uh bachelor thing I mean he's right at that point it's like you got to get married within the next few years or you're gonna really have a hard time believe me because I've been married at the two prime times well it's too early <laughs> in the old days when you're 18 getting married that's no big deal should have done but I did it and it didn't work my fault Second one, I was 38 and making plenty of money and didn't do enough research, so that failed, about her. And now, I don't know, I just, everybody I meet, I'm like, really? I mean, are you really who you say you are? Is it really going to work out? Should I, you know, I'm an old man, I'm 43? One of those numbers is right. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I got a 34-year-old son. How old can I be? I said I was 18. All right, so, uh, there you go. I'm just yammering. 
24 minutes of babbling. All right, lates, dude, or chick, people. This will probably be my only, unless I do a video with the song idea tonight. I'm trying to think of something. Uh, someone's trying to give me some ideas, Katrina. Thanks. I'm going to work on that tonight. And that's about it. There's cows. So I'm going to drive up to Idaho and then back. That'll be my uh, out. Outing. I mean outing for the day, not coming out of the closet. I'm, that ain't happening. All right. I mean, because I'm not... <laughs> Jeez, I gotta watch what I'm saying. All right, uh, now I'm signing off. All right, good day. Day six, Monday, the November before elections. Get out and vote tomorrow, but vote right.